Hello and welcome to the Alipec Energy Dialogues, a series of conversations with leaders in the energy sector from around the world. I'm Atna Trainer, and I'm absolutely delighted to welcome Elias Cassis. He is the country chair for Total Energies here in the UAE. Elias, thank you so much for being with us. I'm very happy to be here as well. Tell me, it's been a very, very exciting year for Total Energies. And in fact, when you think of it, what used to be Total, now it's a new branding, it's a new vision, but this is all part of being very relevant for the energy transition. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, we, what, uh, what I can say is that uh, the world is changing as uh, we, we've been, uh, the world has been, and the industry has been through, uh, through uh, a year 2020, a year of crisis, a multiple crisis that took place at, uh, at, uh, at the same time. There was the pandemic, there was the economic uh, crisis with uh, the uh, whole crisis of uh, the energy prices, the oil prices that collapsed, and there's the uh, climate crisis. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we as Total Energies, we're taking, uh, we're having a strong conviction, we're looking to the world changing at uh, an accelerating rate, and we feel that we have to evolve, be agile, adapt to the world, and quickly seize opportunities to, uh, to continue growing the company, supplying energy to the market while reducing emissions. We are capitalizing on our strengths, be it uh, the, uh, the uh, traditional oil and gas uh, production, but we are also uh, focusing on new energies like the renewables, uh, which is now part of our ambition. And that's very exciting. I want to talk to you about that in just a minute, too. But let's have a look here regionally. Um, you're very busy in the region and, of course, a lot going on. But talk to us a little bit about perhaps some of the challenges there. But, of course, plenty of opportunities, I'm sure, you know, as you operate through an increased value chain here. Yeah, we're, we're the company, uh, the Total Energies today, Total yesterday was uh, born in the region. So it's, uh, it's an area where we are present uh, in, uh, in uh, almost uh, all country operating for decades here in the UAE. We've been, uh, we've, been above, we've been there for more than 80 years and the company is going in a few years time to uh, celebrate its, uh, its 100 year uh, anniversary. And we're looking to... Uh, to the future decades. So I think as the company is embarked on the energy transition, all countries and all national oil companies who are our partners in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in each of the countries are also taking their own uh, ambition, embarking on that uh, energy transition, be it here in the UAE, be it in uh, Oman, New, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Qatar, and uh, I'm not going to uh, name them, all of them. They have set uh, ambitions. And um, if I look here in the UAE in particular, uh, there's the recent announcement uh, by, by the country for going net zero by 2050, as uh, companies uh, as well are doing it. We've, uh, we've done it uh, as well. This is a challenge for all of us. Uh, we are working uh, to uh, our, our mission, I would say, is to provide energy and energy is, uh, is about life in a, in a way and energy demand in the world is increasing and the challenge is how to produce, how to supply more energy while at the same time uh, reducing the footprint, uh, reducing emissions, uh, going into the decarbonization uh, path. It's a challenge, but it also creates a lot of opportunities without naming any specific one, because you have to work on your JVs, your assets, hand in hand with the NOC, in particular here in the UAE, to, uh, to, uh, to meet that challenge, as I said, create opportunities and add value to the stakeholders uh, at large, to, uh, to the countries, to our shareholders, to our, uh, to our uh, employees and uh, uh, beyond uh, to, uh, to the people with whom we work. Indeed, it's a very dynamic time, I think, in the industry when we look at almost, you know, keeping the lights on today, but actually fueling the transition. But now you mentioned they're renewables, so we're really eager to hear some of the investment in renewables and exactly what Total Energies is doing now. 
the renewables today is uh, fully uh, an essential building block on the ambition and the strategy of the company going uh, towards the net zero uh, uh, by 2050 and taking the steps uh, to, uh, to get there. We are uh, an oil and gas company and we remain an oil and gas uh, producer because uh, uh, that meets the demand. We are just looking to demand how it is today and how it is going to be based on our analysis. What we also, uh, what we also uh, uh, look at is that uh, electricity and renewable electricity is one way of uh, decarbonizing uh, the, uh, the, uh, the energy, one way of adding energy while uh, reducing, uh, reducing uh, emissions. And renewables have uh, the renewable growth worldwide and here in the region in particular uh, is going to be uh, huge in terms of uh, additional uh, capacities so it's uh, it's a huge opportunity again to meet uh, demand when i look to total energy's own strategy uh, what i can say is that uh, what a few years ago we were we we had the, the shams power uh, uh, so solar power station that uh, was uh, started uh, in the UAE in 2013. It was 100 megawatts. It's, uh, it was a landmark project at, the, at that time. A few years ago, we were at one gigawatt of capacity in the portfolio. Today, we are close to uh, 10. And the ambition is that by year 2030, we uh, reach 100 gigawatt of, uh, of, uh, of uh, projects, uh, uh, solar, as well as uh, wind, uh, wind. And, uh, and this is going to constitute part of the growth of, uh, the, uh, of the company, as well as contribute to, uh, to reducing overall emissions. Electricity, as I said, is, part, uh, is one key driver uh, for the uh, energy transition and meeting the uh, the objective uh, of uh, emission reductions. Indeed, ambitious plans there, but you know it's a very exciting time without a doubt. Now, talk to me about that long-standing, you know, partnership that you have in place here with Adnoc on onshore and offshore. I mean, so much going on. Anything we can look forward to? What are you working on at the moment? Well, we're as 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 I said, we've been partners with uh, Adnoc, with the UAE uh, at large uh, for the past more than uh, or more than eight years. Uh, there are vast resources uh, of oil and gas, and uh, and oil in the UAE has uh, uh, is a low intensity uh, crude oil as compared to uh, to other countries. So it's uh, it's an asset. The the resources are there. And we are working out with ADNOC in our ventures, you've mentioned them, ADNOC onshore, ADNOC uh, offshore, towards uh, continuing uh, basically supplying the market with, uh, with oil, meeting the demand for oil in the, uh, in the energy mix, while at the same time uh, having sharing the same agenda with ADNOC about uh, reducing emissions, uh, be it with electrifications, be it with uh, reducing uh, with uh, being with reducing emissions uh, being with uh, with in uh, implementing technologies uh, to continue that journey with uh, with one uh, key element to be added about uh, that uh, venture we are in a country where it's known it's a low cost uh, oil it's fully part of our strategy as well because markets are volatile. We've seen that uh, for the past uh, years and quite recently, I should say, uh, prices can collapse quickly, can go up quickly. At the end of the day, we are working out high quality uh, assets with our partner ADNOC, resilient, then can continue, uh, the, continue supplying uh, the markets and weather the storms as uh, as this country adnoc and their partners uh, amongst them uh, ourselves uh, have done through uh, through the the past 18 months now of course um, in the run up to adipec where very very soon we will um, have adipec live in abu dhabi and this will be the first time of course you know you're going to be sponsoring with your new branding so it's going to be very very exciting to see Total energies up there. 
So what can we expect in terms of your participation in Adipec? Well, as, as you said, well, Adipec is, uh, is a unique moment uh, every year. So, uh, and, uh, and as Total Energies, obviously, we're quite happy to, uh, to take part to this uh, edition, which is going to be a special one for, uh, for a few reasons. Uh, first, uh, it's the 50 years of the UAE and uh, ADNOC. That's a great uh, moment. Uh, second is uh, ADIPEC uh, is uh, back uh, in person or hybrid, but at least people are coming back as compared to uh, unfortunately uh, last year. And as you said it, uh, it is the, uh, the first time uh, Total Energies uh, will be there. Two years ago, it was Total. Now it's Total Energies with the new... Uh, with the new uh, visual identity, with the uh, uh, with the new strategy that uh, we hope will be uh, showing up uh, to uh, to uh, to our colleagues, uh, visitors uh, during ADIPEC. We have a number of uh, of uh, key speakers uh, attending. A large a large delegation uh, joining in person. And uh, we, we really look forward to uh, what I believe is going to be a great moment, especially this year. Now, as we look forward to 2022, this year, not quite over, there's almost a, a quarter left in the year. So there's a, still a lot to, to play for in 2021. Talk to us a little bit about, I suppose, the expectations as you go forward. Well, the expectations are well in line with uh, what uh, we've been talking a bit earlier, based on uh, what the UAE wants uh, to, uh, to, to achieve, what ADNOC has in terms of plans, and what in uh, total energies we have in terms of ambition and steps. To get there 2030 and beyond 2050, you have to take it step by step. And each action, uh, immediate actions are being taken uh, with, uh, with our uh, partners uh, and in particular with ADNOC, working out our uh, ventures, looking to new opportunities, uh, reducing our uh, emissions, working out our partnership on CO2 reduction and, uh, and uh, CCUS. Uh, I uh, can, without entering into too much detail, uh, there are plenty of uh, topics uh, working out the technology on uh, on uh, Adipec is a showcase for technology as uh, uh, and and that uh, technology is going to be a key also driver in addition to uh, the other uh, the other uh, elements uh, towards uh, that journey. We've said it earlier. A lot of challenges are ahead, but uh, huge opportunities. Our industry, energy is about life. Energy is reinventing itself and the industry and we in Total Energies are reinventing ourselves. And we believe that the journey ahead is uh, passionating to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to provide more energy to the market, less emissions. And I will finish by this word and be at all times sustainable because it's about sustainability at the end of the day. Indeed it is, and there's so much um, to work on for the next few months, and indeed some great focus for a company like Total Energies, and I'm really going to be looking forward to seeing you live and in person with all of your team too, of course, with the senior team and the executives at Adipec 2021. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's been great to have you, Elias Cassis, the um, country chair here in the UAE, so absolutely delighted, and of course also president for Total EMP. Thank you, Elias. Thank you, Ethne. We just want to uh, close this off, of course, you know, to just remind everybody to stay in touch, be connected. There's lots going on in the next uh, while. And of course, everybody register for ADIPEC. Be sure to come and see us. We will all be there live and in person in Abu Dhabi in November uh, 2021. So we're really looking forward to seeing everybody there. And we will have more energy dialogues uh, for you in the meantime. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.